If you've got the itch to create content, what's stopping you? What's your excuse? These days, if you've got this one thing in particular that you'll usually find on you at all times, and as long as you've overcome the barriers from within, then there's no excuse to do anything but press that record button. Hey, it's Andre, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to film, edit, and publish a video using one thing, and that's your iPhone. While I'm showing you just how easy it is to get through those three stages with this, I'll show you a few leveling up suggestions with accessories or apps that may also help enhance your filming and editing experience. Firstly, it starts off with the most important thing you'll need, your phone. This is mine, the iPhone 13 Pro. Generally, most smartphones these days are capable of producing an acceptable high level of video quality. This iPhone can record in 720p, 820p, and 4K at various FPS rates. So if you're looking for your videos to look as good as they can, make sure your film in the highest resolution possible. On this phone it's 4K but if you've got an older phone it may be 1080p. One of the restrictions to remember is that the higher the resolution then the more space the video clip will take up on your phone. So bear that in mind when you press that record button. The best way to start off if you're using an iPhone and you just want to begin is by using the native camera app in video mode. If you want to be able to see yourself in frame while you're filming, you'll have to use the selfie camera, which unfortunately isn't the iPhone's best lens. If you do want to utilize the best lens on your phone, you'll have to sacrifice being able to see yourself while recording. But if you set and frame everything beforehand, or have help from someone else, then you can easily overcome that obstacle. With the native camera app, there aren't many settings that you can customize in video mode other than an exposure, which is the reason which sometimes forces people looking for more advanced features to choose alternative apps to use. But for simple pointing and shooting as a beginner, and with the appropriate lighting conditions, that should be all that you will need. If you want to level up the camera app then as well as loads of free camera apps that give you more advanced setting control, the paid app that I use whenever I'm not filming on my Sony camera which costs about $12.99 in the App Store is Filmic Pro. This app gives you full manual control of all your iPhone's different lenses such as the exposure which you can do in the native app, the ISO, shutter speed, focus, zoom, it also gives you the ability to see live scene analytics and support for certain third party accessories like gimbals, all of which will give you a more professional control of your video production. And if you've got an Apple Watch or another iPhone or iPad, you can install the Filmic Remote app and have remote control of your iPhone while in the Filmic Pro app. I'll leave the link to my review on the Filmic Remote app up there and in the description below. A sneaky little trick that you can do if you film with Filmic Pro on your iPhone and Filmic Remote on the Apple Watch is that you can strap the Apple Watch to your iPhone and use it as a viewfinder and to start and stop the recordings when you're filming with the main back camera lens. This way you'll always be able to make sure the framing within the shot is perfect while utilizing the phone's best camera lens. The microphone on the iPhone in my opinion is pretty good for general shooting, particularly if you're filming with the phone close to you, which fortunately the iPhone lenses allow you to do. To level this up you can go for an external mic that attaches directly to the lightning port of the phone or a compatible lav mic that via the appropriate adapter, should you need one, will allow you to be able to move a little bit further away from the phone and with a wireless lav mic even further away. In a studio setting, as well as leveling up with the smaller external mic or lav mic, you can go for a USB mic like this one from Fifine, which is more suited if you've got more of a permanent setup. When recording, you can just simply hold the phone out like this just to give your video more of a personal touch if that's the effect that you're going for. But a simple, inexpensive level up is using a selfie stick, or like I'm doing here, a phone mount attached to a mini tripod. If you're in a more permanent setting, you could swap the mini tripod for a normal size tripod, and as a further level up to the handheld method, using a gimbal like this one, will not only give you a little bit more handheld control, but also stabilization. Important if you're finding your handheld footage a little bit wobbly. Okay, so now you've created your video and it's sitting in the Photos app, how are you going to get it to the stage where it's presentable? You're going to need to edit it. Remember, we're still doing everything on the iPhone. The free and perfectly capable option for you on your phone is the app iMovie, Apple's own default video editor across all of their devices, capable of creating great edited videos, and it even gives you the option, if you're totally new to this, for help with storyboards and magic movies. If you want to see me edit a whole video in iMovie on the iPhone, just let me know in the comments below. If you're a regular to the channel, then you'll probably know what my level up option is for a, a mobile video editor. Yes, it's LumiFusion. For me and many others, probably the best mobile video editing app experience you're going to get. And even on a small screen like the iPhone, which may be a bit small for some, LumiFusion offers the opportunity to create some great videos. And if you want to, upload directly to YouTube from within the app. 
check out one of my limb effusion tutorial videos after this one. So that's a quick intro in just how easy it is to get started with just this one thing. And it shows that you don't need to spend loads of money to start and continue making great videos by just hitting that record button. For me, the majority of this channel's life up to this point, I was and I'm still sometimes shooting on my iPhone with Filmic Pro and with the Apple Watch using the Filmic Remote app and editing and uploading in LumaFusion straight to YouTube all without spending much. Only leveling up even now when finance allow little by little. If you've got any questions about anything in this video or want to add your own leveling up software or accessory suggestions pop them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't and make sure to watch some more videos like this one by clicking here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.